Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am actually out, outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another Venom Vlog. This is episode 467. And uh, thank you guys again for the support and all the, you know, the giant increase we took in subscribers lately. I appreciate it. And there will be a video coming up soon celebrating 2,000 subscribers. I will try to get that in early next week. I'll film it. And then you'll probably see it towards the end of next week. Uh, so maybe like around Friday of next week, I'll try to post it. So uh, thank you guys again for that. And thanks for watching all the recent videos. My views on my videos have been a lot higher on my later, on my recent Venom Vlogs than before, uh, consistently and I want to thank you guys for that and that level of support and for sharing and talking about on social media it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it and that's why I want to do at least one more video here about some of the filming and then I don't know unless maybe if they some of the leaked stuff comes out for the last day of filming um, whenever that is like we'll we'll maybe do one more filming video because it's probably going to be a little bit of a dry spell for a while until we get, you know, like a, a teaser trailer or a trailer or something like that, which I know a lot of you guys have been asking me. I have no idea when the trailer is coming out. I have no idea at all. Uh, but a lot of you have guessed that maybe we could get one in March when Bloodshot comes out, which is a Sony movie starring Vin Diesel and it's a comic book movie uh, by Valiant Comics. So there's a chance maybe they'll put together something by then and put it at the beginning of that movie um or they or they might just release it sometime randomly in april i don't know so your guess is as good as mine so i have no idea when the trailer is coming but uh when it does i promise you i will do a trailer reaction on this channel and uh, we will discuss it and then normally in those videos i'll do a trailer reaction you guys comment what you think of the trailer in the comments uh, below of that episode and then i make a separate episode where i go through and read all your comments um and so in that way you i involve you guys and your thoughts into this show so i get your opinion literally on the show so um so yeah we'll do that when that time comes but for today we have this cool video and i'm going to credit the the person who shot this and i'll put a link to the full video down below i'm not going to show the whole thing but i just want to show a couple beats of it because i thought it was interesting this is another carnage episode and this is about the filming uh, that was on sunday i think february 16th and they shot in front of the Crosby and then they made that building, the Schuler building, which I mentioned before. And I forgot to mention in those videos um, of when we covered it originally, which is Schuler is a, a shout out to Randy Schuler, who uh, they mentioned in the first movie too. Uh, Eddie Brock lives in the Schuler building and uh, and they mentioned that and they so they did it in this movie too. And Andy, uh, Randy Schuler is the guy who created the black symbiote costume and sent it to Marvel as a drawing. And the editor at that time said, hey, we like this concept. Uh, can we buy it off you for like 220 bucks? And the guy was like, sure. And little did he know and little did Marvel know that, you know, like, look how big this happened, you know, how it got like, you know, now it's led to Venom and all these amazing things and it blew up. And honestly, Randy deserves more than $220 for that drawing, but business is business. And that was the deal that happened. But I think they have brought Randy in. And I think there's a comic book he wrote that we haven't covered on the show yet that I did read um, called Self-Improvement or something like that. And it's about Spider-Man in the black costume. So we may cover that on an upcoming episode so we can give, you know, Randy Schuler more, um, you know, more of a spotlight there. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, so they, they had, they shot in front of the Schuler building, uh, which is named after him. And, uh, and, you know, we have a scene where the cop is coming up and he's aiming the gun at Cletus Cassidy and, and any footage I show and anything I show any pictures or whatever I'll definitely credit the proper people you see the credit up there um, but yeah it's pretty neat there's you know we have Carnage or Cletus being shot and you see him using his hands and he's doing like this little you know uh, kind of magic dance kind of thing like he's summoning something and uh, and then the cop you know freaks out there's a you know there's that scene there and then there's also the scene where the cop gets lifted into the air so you'll see him like spinning around and he's screaming he's like ah yeah you know and he's getting lifted up and he's just spinning and i'm like man i i'm I, i'm trying to conjure in my mind what could be happening there like how the suit could be lifting him up and spinning him around um but i i can't think of it and, and also the way it's shot you can really depending on the score you could really make that terrifying um depending on what angle and what and how you shoot it and or you can make it look kind of comedic like a dark comedic where he's kind of spinning and it looks a little silly but then he's like face to face with cletus cassidy and cletus steps up to him in this symbiote and it looks like with with seeing that in mind you know like i'm like well at least carnage or cletus is at least using the symbiote in a way we didn't really see in the first movie the way he's kind of like spinning this guy around almost like a marionette or a puppet or something he like lifts him up spins him and it's pretty it, it could be really creepy or it could come across as a little a little comedic you know you don't know and uh, and so that's what we talk about before with tom yelling no no you know at the motorcycle in that scene in the alley 
he did a bunch of takes every time he was saying no he was doing it slightly different in case they wanted to add a little bit more humor in that scene or if they wanted it to be you know him being really scared or upset by it so you know that's where you get the different takes so seeing the cop spin i was like oh crap like <laughs> like that's that's terrifying he, the way he gets lifted up and just spun around like a little toy um but in carnage or cletus is just sitting there smiling at him so it looks like Woody's doing a great job as this character, and I, I'm very excited for that. I know a lot of people out there, especially in season one and two when we were talking about him, uh, they weren't happy with him because of his age. And I kept saying, well, if he's a guy who's on death row, um, it makes sense that he's older because that means he's uh, you know, served almost the end of his sentence, which could be 20, 30 years in jail. Um, so he would kind of need to be older, you know, older than Eddie and stuff. So, um, so yeah, and obviously the haircut on him looks a lot better this time around too. Uh, so... Yeah, we have this. It's happening outside of Eddie's building, I guess. Um, and so I don't know why Cletus is coming to Eddie's building. So I guess we'll see that in the movie. But then here's the, the big thing, the money shot, if you will. Uh, this is the prosthetic arm. And so this is kind of our first look at at least something Carnage related. And of course, this prosthetic arm is just there for a couple shots, you know, um, but they could add, you know, digital stuff to it to make it look more alive Ten tendrils coming off it or whatever um but it but there is this guy on the set carrying the big arm and and putting it into certain positions and having it do certain things um you know while they're filming the scene and obviously the reason they're doing that is like the guy's standing off camera but the arm's coming into frame so that way you'll see the arm like you know up here but you don't see like my arm you know like you know it'll, it'll, it'll it won't look this bad obviously but you know you could have the arm coming in so that way they just you know, don't have to CGI everything. And I think that's smart. And Andy Circus is really, when I saw this, I was like, that's what I kept thinking of was he's a smart filmmaker because mostly people would just be like, oh, we'll just CGI it. And you'll spend all this money on CGI. Whereas if you have a practical thing that you just touch up with CGI, it costs a lot less and you can get it done a lot faster. And that makes sense because obviously they want to get this movie out by October 2nd is the tentative release date for it. And so for that reason, they want to get this thing uh, done right. And they don't want people like, you know, killing themselves on too many visual effects so i this is very smart by andy circus the way he does things and the way he's trying to do things practically in a lot of instances um it's fantastic i love it and i think it's going to make for a really cool looking movie i think this movie is going to have a style to it uh at least i hope anyway at least from what i've seen i now i don't see things through the lens and obviously i'm not in the editing room where they could you know color correct things and they can manipulate things and add things to it um i'm not there for any of that but just from what i saw on set uh it still seems to have a similar vibe of like where it could go a little fun if it needs to like the first movie would do in some scenes but a lot of this does seem pretty intense too and so that excites me because that's kind of what i wanted i liked the first movie but i gave it a seven out of ten this one i was really hoping it would it would hear the criticisms of the first movie and improve on them and i can't tell if they are yet but i will say from these behind the scenes stuff that we've been seeing I'm very excited for it. I'm, I'm super looking forward to it. And then there's some other footage. So they, you saw the arm and everything like that. There's some other footage that popped up, I think, tonight, uh, where it was like a, a motorcycle chase scene or something like that, uh, where Eddie is driving down a hill and there's a, a, a car going after him. So they'll show a clip of that and I'll credit that person who, who posted it. Uh, but for the most part, everything else is, you know, uh, there's a lot of other behind the scenes stuff. There's other photos that have gotten out there. Tom, you know, he like saw this dog, I think named Skeeter, uh, who he when he filmed the first movie two years ago, he ran into that dog and, and you know, made a friend because he's a big dog lover. And uh, and then so this time, you know, he got to see Skeeter again because they were filming right down the street from, you know, Skeeter's house or whatever. And so there's fun things like that. And just Tom being awesome. And, uh, and I think that's helping this movie. I mean, a lot of people out there who are fans of the guy and who may, and even if they weren't fans of the first movie, I see people commenting in my comment section or on Twitter, on Instagram saying, you know what, I'm getting more excited for this movie. Like I maybe didn't like the last one too much, but I, I'm excited for this one. And I like hearing that. I like hearing that people who even still maybe didn't like the first movie that much are still willing to give this one a chance because I mean, come on, it's our first on-screen carnage and they got a really good actor to play him. Um, and Tom, I think, really committed to the role of Eddie Brock. Like at the end of that movie, I just kept thinking, man, despite all my other gripes about the movie, he really played this character. He really understood that Eddie Brock is just this screw up um, who is who is a little bit over the top at times, who's who's a little bit weird at times um, and who is hopeless at times, uh, but but still capturing kind of the the, the charm in a way of of him and and you know him the type of person he is and Eddie is there's there's some good in there that you can see why Anne feels something for Eddie still and or, or why she gives him an you know 
at least another chance to you know be in her life as a friend or something and you kind of buy it and even dan you know doesn't hate eddie like dan's like eddie brock i'm a big fan so i hope they do more with dan in the next movie and i know a lot of you guys out there do too because i like that he wasn't just the typical like and my girl now and you know and you hate him like he was like a nice guy he was like a genuinely nice guy um so yeah it's, it, it'll be interesting to see where they take all of those relationships in this next movie too but uh let me know your thoughts of this prosthetic arm you, you know it's our kind of our first look at carnage um so let me know you know what you think of it so far i know we can't see it too well but i do want to thank this person for filming it uh she i think filmed it from her apartment looking down so she had some really great she had a great angle to film this on and i really want to thank her and like i said i didn't show her whole video so i'll put the link down below so you can check out her whole video yourself and make sure you give her a like and a subscribe and thank her for shooting this footage for sure um everyone else thanks so much for being here as always i appreciate it like share subscribe all that fun stuff put your comments down below and we'll continue our conversation down there i'll see you all in the future peace